What's up guys, Codeforge here, welcome in the next video. Today I would like to show you how to connect your Spring Boot application with the Vault and how to retrieve data from it. I have already prepared project, we will be using Java version 8 and we will use also Maven for the project management and Spring Boot version will be 2.2.6. And we are missing one thing over here and it is Vault dependency, so let's add it and over here we'll type vault and you can see that we want to add this vault configuration and it is coming from the spring cloud config so let's add it and now we are ready to generate the project and open it in the IDE okay so here is our application and now to start working with the vault we have to create new properties file so we click on the resource directory, we select new file and this file must be called bootstrap.properties This bootstrap properties file is being loaded before the application properties and before any application context is being created so this is why it is being used in the cloud environment to connect with the other services, for example with the vault. Before we will proceed with populating this bootstrap properties file, let's start the vault server in the dev mode. So here is my console and all we have to do to start the vault process, we have to say vault server dash dev. We hit enter and after a few seconds the vault process should be up and running. If you don't know how to install and run vault, uh, I have video about it so you can check it out. Vault is running under hood so we can start with specifying first property and it will be spring application name and we want to set it to the vault connection. Next thing is the URL for the vault and it is set to default by the Spring Auto configuration to the local host on the port 8200. It, will, it would work if we would use it with the HTTPS but we are using HTTP in this example so we have to explicitly define it. So we have to say Spring Cloud dot vault dot URI and it is working on the http colon slash slash localhost on the port 8200 last thing we need to access the vault server is to provide the root token and we can find it in the console so if we go to the console in the process where our vault is running we can find this yellow section and over here we have this root token which we want to copy so we select it Control shift c and in the bootstrap properties file we want to say spring cloud vault token and we want to paste our token over here it looks good so let's try to build our project and later we'll run it so we'll check if the connection is good so we clean it and then install it it looks good so the build is success now we can try to run it so we click the play button next to our main class and we have to wait a few seconds and it's all good now let's open the vault web interface where we will define the secrets and then we will try to retrieve these secrets using the Spring Boot application so we are on the localhost 8200 and now we have to sign into the vault and we have the method set to token and we want to use the same token which we have used in our Spring Boot application Here are our secrets engines and auto configuration of our Spring Boot application by default will try to connect with this 
secret engine called secret and in the spring boot it is called backend and later on in this video i will show you how to define a new secret engine and to connect to it with the spring boot so let's go inside and let's create first secret next default value provided by the spring boot auto configuration is the name of this secret so this secret should be called application because this is the default uh, path on which spring boot will look for the secrets so we want to set the path for this secret to application and we want over here to store some data and we'll call it login oops login and we'll set it to let's say test user and we want to add another one and it will be password so it will be test123 and we want to save it we want to also check the json representation it is all good so now we can go back to our spring boot application to retrieve data we have to create a configuration bin so we will right click on our directory and we will create a new package we'll call it configuration and inside this configuration package we want to create a new class and let's say it will be vault configuration over here first of all we want to mark it as the configuration bin and we want to create two properties first one will be private string login and the second one will be private string password now we will use value annotation to bind the properties from the vault to our configuration class so we will say value and between the parentheses we have to import it and in the parentheses we want to say login because this is the name of the property which we have defined in our secret and the same goes for the password and the same name like in our um, vault it is almost done now let's generate some getters like this and now we can move to our main class here we want to display our login and password so in the first place let's create a logger so we say private logger from the slf4j and we will call it log and using the logger factory we want to get a new logger for this class so we say vault connection application class and now inside our main class we want to access our context so it will be configurable application context called context and now from the context we want to get bin and it is vault configuration class and we want to assign it to our variable called vault configuration which is the type of vault configuration so now we can display our properties we also have to add the static to the log because we want to use it in our static main method and now we can say log info and we want to say login and we want to use our vault configuration get login and we want to this do the same for the password so we say password and we want to change get login to get password so now let's run our application we click the play button over here and after a few seconds we should get the login the password and here it is we have the login set to test user and the password set to test one to three and this is exactly the same what we have configured in our vault okay so it is working now let's go back to our vault web interface and create new uh, secret engine and also new secret inside so far in our spring boot application we have used the default values from the auto configuration for the secret engine path and the secret path 
Now we will create a new secret engine and new secret inside and later on we will connect with it from the Spring Boot application. We want to click enable new engine. We'll use also the key values. So we select this one, we click next. And the path of this secret engine will be CodeForge YouTube, let's say. The version 2 is good, we want to enable it. Now we have to create a new secret, so we click create secret and we have to specify the path of this secret and let's say it will be credentials and like before we will have the version data and it will be login and we will set it to the codeforge and we will add the password and let's set it to the test123 like before and we click save can also check the JSON representation, it looks good. So we can go back to the IDE. In the IDE, all we have to do to change the secret engine and the secret itself is to change the properties in the bootstrap properties. So our new secret engine was called code for YouTube, and to set it we have to say Spring Cloud Vault generic and the last thing is backend and now the name of our secret engine is codeforge youtube in our secret engine we have a new secret which is called credentials and to set it we have to say spring cloud vault generic and it is default context and we have to set it to the name of our secret, which was credentials. Let's run our application and we will check if the login will be different. So we hit the play button and after a few seconds, we can see that the login has been changed to the CodeForge and the password is set to the test123. Everything works as expected. Our Spring Boot application is connecting to the secret engine and the secret which we have created in the vault. So mission complete. Okay, this is all I have prepared for you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.